Hey, it's Cartier Brown and welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad you're here. Join me. We are making brown butter pecan pie. It's my spin on a Southern comfort food classic. That brown butter adds another layer of nuttiness and I also top it with a bourbon whipped cream. Before we begin, grab a stick of cold unsalted butter, preheat your oven to 400 degrees, grab a medium bowl and chill that for the bourbon whipped cream and also grab a third cup of cold water. Okay, let's get started on our pie dough. Grab one and one fourth cup of all purpose flour. Level it off. Add it to your bowl. Now the fourth cup. We're going to add one tablespoon of sugar, granulated sugar. A half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Mix that in. And now let's grate in our cold butter. We're gonna grate in one stick of butter. And the reason we're grating in the butter because it distributes evenly when you grate it in. Yeah, and it's okay when your hand, your, of course your hand is a little warm, so it'll start to melt a little bit. Don't worry about that. As long as most of your butter is grated. Give that a mix with your fork, breaking up that butter. Okay. What we can do is just use your hand. Break up some of that butter with your hand. And we still have to add our water. And you want to use your fingers to crumble this up into pea sizes. This is a traditional pie dough. You can use this for any pie. Key lime, lemon, chest pie. That looks like pea sizes. Let's eyeball our water. The recipe calls for a third of a cup, but I have more just in case we'll need it. Just watch, I pour it in slowly at a time and then mix it in. What you're looking for is the dough to form a ball. Just keep mixing it around. This is the cold water we're adding. All right now it's starting to form a ball. Okay, and I'm gonna to have to use about a tablespoon more. That's why you have to watch it. It depends on your kitchen, depends on how warm your hands are. Just adjust accordingly. You know that you've added enough water when your dough forms a ball. All right, let's clean our hands. Let's grab some bench flour. Flour your surface, smooth it out. I like to take some of that flour in my hand, roll it around. You don't want to overwork your pie dough. Mm -hmm. Take a rolling pin, dust it with a little bit more flour. You want to roll this out to about 12 inches in diameter. You want it to be just a little bigger than your pie dish. What I like to do is just, see, it's a little bigger, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, we're gonna take our pie dough and transfer it into our pie dish, okay? What you wanna do is fold over your pie crust up here. Just pull it up and fold it over. And it makes it much easier if you have some flour on your hands. Folding it over, pull it up, fold it over. Pull it up, fold it back. This is a homemade pie crust, guys. It's not gonna be perfect. And that's the beauty of it. Pull it up some more. And you're folding it back. Okay. And just make sure it's even up there. Pull it up if you need to. Press it down right here. Pull it up, press it down. Because it will fall into your, your pie dish. So you want to make sure you're pulling it up. 
gently. Okay. If you're not comfortable with making crimps, you can always use a fork to make a small little indent in your crust. But I like using crimps and I'll show you how to do that. Take your thumb finger, your index finger, and you take your index finger with your other hand and just press in, press in, press in. That simple. You're essentially pinching your, your pie dough. You wanna make sure your hands are not sticky when you do this because your fingers will stick to the dough. We're gonna pop our pie dough in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And the reason we're doing that is because we need our pie dough to set up. Let's head over to the freezer. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. Let's poke some holes at the bottom of our pie crust. And the reason we're doing that is because you need some air in this pie crust. Otherwise, it'll bubble up. Just tiny holes with a toothpick. If you don't have a toothpick, you can use a fork. All right, grab a parchment paper. Push it down. If you don't have pie weights, you can always use dry beans. And the reason we're using pie weights is because if you blindly bake a pie crust, it does have the tendency to bubble up. So in order for it to stay down in your pie dish, you have to put some type of weight on it, okay? All right, let's go over to our oven that's been preheated to 400. We're gonna bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, hit that pause button. Meet me back here in 15 to 20 minutes. It's been about 15, 20 minutes. Let's remove our pie weights. Okay. Now we're gonna brush our pie crust with an egg wash. And the reason we are brushing the pie crust with an egg wash is to make it really pretty and shiny and it also helps brown the pie crust. I have some water here in a small bowl. I'm gonna add one egg, give it a whisk. Using a brush, I'm gonna brush the edges. Glossy pie crust. I am a pie girl. You know, the funny thing about it is that I don't like fruit in my pies. I am more about the crust. <laughs> I am invested in the crust. A warm crust with some ice cream, shut your mouth. <laughs> What I like to do is like, it doesn't matter if some of your egg wash gets at the bottom of your pie crust, just, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Just use your brush and brush it around. Just make sure you get those edges, okay? What I like to also do at this point is get a paper towel and just clean it up a little bit. So once that egg wash cooks, it kind of gets brown on your pie dish, just clean it up. All right, we're going to pop this back in the oven for an additional 10 minutes. Hit pause and meet me back here. All right, let's pull our pie crust out of the oven. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Okay. I'm going to let this cool. At this point, we also need to turn down our oven to three 50, okay. Now for the good stuff, the filling. Let's melt six tablespoons of unsalted butter. We're gonna melt this and brown it. Yeah. Brown butter is just gonna add another layer of nuttiness and richness to this pecan pie. Browning butter is just cooking it for an extended amount of time and you're actually caramelizing the butter. So it's gonna evoke this nutty, almost caramelized flavor. You definitely want to keep an eye on it at this point because it will burn. We want brown butter, not burnt butter. 
And I like to continuously stir to break up any of those brown bits that start to form at the bottom of your pot. Make sure your heat is not up too high. Medium high heat should do it. We're looking for a deep brown color. Starting to smell that butter cook. Whew. What you wanna do is take your wooden spoon or a spatula and break up some of that, those brown spots on the side of your pot. Scrape in the bottom. Okay, that looks good to me. It should be a light brown color. We're gonna turn your heat down just a little bit. All right, we're gonna let our brown butter cool. Move it to your back burner. While that's cooling, let's get started on the rest of our filling. We're gonna add one cup of light brown sugar to a bowl. We're gonna add one tablespoon of bourbon. If you don't like alcohol, you can skip this step. That bourbon is gonna cut through that sugar and molasses and corn syrup very nicely. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. A half a cup of corn syrup. And a quarter cup of molasses. Wouldn't be a Southern comfort food classic without molasses. <laughs> Give it a whisk. Okay. Now we're gonna add in our eggs, three eggs. Give it a whisk. And if you've ever had pecan pie, you know that's a really rich and sturdy pie. Adding the egg helps create that consistency. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna fold in our pecans. We have two cups of pecans. And a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Let's fold it in with the wooden spoon. If you have a spatula, you can use that as well. And don't forget about that brown butter. It should have cooled by now. We're gonna add that in. Slowly pour it in and fold. Make sure your egg and syrup and the butter and the sugar are all mixed in thoroughly. Okay. Keep folding. All right, that should be good. Let's pour our mixture into our pie crust. How gorgeous is that? Look at that color. Let's pop this in the oven at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. Hit pause and meet me back here. All right, let's remove our pie from the oven. That smells incredible. Ooh, and it's just as pretty. Look at that. I know you wanna dig into this right now, but we gotta let this cool, hit pause, and meet me back here when it's cool. Our pie has cooled, let's start on our bourbon whipped cream. Remember that bowl I told you to have chilled? This is why. We're gonna add one cup of cold heavy cream. We're gonna beat this on high until it forms soft peaks. And if your kitchen is a little warm, you can also chill your beaters in the freezer with your bowl. The reason why we have our bowl chilled and as well as the beaters chilled is because we need to stabilize this whipped cream. We're not adding any stabilizers like a gelatin to it, so the only way that it'll form some type of structure is through being chilled. I like to keep moving the bowl around, getting the sides. And you should see your whipped cream should start to double in size. Let's see, soft peaks, okay? 
Now we're gonna turn our mixer on low and add in two tablespoons of confectioner sugar. I'm gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of salt. Your mixer should be on low. Okay, let's stop it. I'm just gonna scrape down the sides, the spatula, and now we're gonna add our bourbon. One tablespoon, I mean, bourbon and pecan pie, why not? Okay. Instead of using the mixer, we're gonna fold in our bourbon. And of course, if you're making this for your family or kids, you can omit the bourbon. Okay, <laughs> the only thing left now is to try our brown butter pecan pie. All right, let's slice our pie. I don't know which side I wanna go on. The crust is really thick on this side. I'm gonna go over here. Use a knife. Ooh, did you hear how crispy that pie crust sounds? Oh man. All right, let's plate our pie. Oh man. Look at that. Okay, let's get some of that bourbon whipped cream and top it off. A little dollop on top should do the trick. Mm hmm. Let's try it. Oh yeah. Hmm. Mm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Makes you want to do a happy dance. Wow, that's good. That brown butter in the pie with the pecans and that brown sugar and the molasses is buttery. It's nutty, it's sweet, and then the whipped cream just cools it off on top and it has a little hint of that salt. This is great. Hey, thanks for joining me on this class. I hope you had fun. I had a blast with you. Don't forget to bookmark this recipe, save it to your favorites, and check out my other Southern comfort food classics on Food Network Kitchen.